Hi there. Today we're going to look at Memorize Transactions in NetSuite. Memorize Transactions are a great tool for automating recurring transactions and giving yourself a gentle reminder to check transactions ready to leave the system. In this video we will show you how to take advantage of the great time saving feature to automatically create recurring customer emails, but the process would work in the same way for other transactions too. Luckily the process is nice and simple. You create a transaction as you usually would. In this case, we've gone with the standard service invoice that's going to reoccur. At the point where you would usually save a transaction, instead we hover over Actions and then click Memorize. The Memorize Transaction page will now appear. First of all, we can give the Memorize Transaction a custom name if the auto-generating one from the transaction isn't really appropriate. The next stage is deciding whether the Memorize Transaction will automatically submit or if you want it to send it to you as a dashboard reminder. For this example, we're going to go with Remind Me, so we get a useful reminder of our test customer's second payment in our contract's payment terms. Had we gone for automatic, that would have just meant it would have been sent straight to them. Next up, we need to choose a frequency for our transaction. This will allow us to choose the next time the transaction reminder will occur, or the next time it was to be sent out automatically. This can be anything from hourly, to every three years. But let's say we've got specific terms and our unique payment terms require us to come up with a custom recurrence pattern. This can be done in a custom recurrence pattern subtab where we can add multiple dates. You can either type in the dates or you can use a calendar pop out on the right. Looking down the page, we find the Update Addresses checkbox. Selecting the Update Addresses checkbox will mean the transaction will automatically adjust to the customer's most up-to-date emails or addresses recorded in NetSuite each time it occurs. We're going to leave it unchecked in this instance, however, as we want the invoices to be addressed exactly the same as the first one. This same logic applies to pricing. Checking update prices will mean the amount on the invoice will always use the most up-to-date item prices in NetSuite, whereas unchecked will mean legacy pricing, or the price agreed at the time of the original transaction, something we would want for our payment terms based invoice. We can now save this memorized transaction and wait for NetSuite to remind us of it. It's now time to make sure your reminders are set up for memorized transactions. If they are, when you go home, you should be able to see the memorized transaction underneath your header, as long as it's within the right number of days. If they're not, we'll quickly set them up now. Setting up reminders is a great way of making use of your dashboard. First, you need to go on Setup and then Add Standard Reminders. This will bring up a, a full list of reminders that you can add as standard. If you go about half down, we'll find memorized transactions. If we select that and add, it will be added to the list. But before leaving, it's worth setting within how many days of the transaction posting date you'd like the reminder. In this case, we've gone with 5. We can now see that memorized transactions have been added to our list of reminders. That's because one of our memorized transactions must need attention within the next 5 days. If we click on that, it will take us through to the list. And there we can see the invoice that we set up earlier. We'd need to access that to then save it to send it on. You can also find your other memorized transactions by finding it in the menu or just searching memorized transactions in your top bar. So there you go, that's memorized transactions. Thanks for watching and give it a go, and make sure to check out our other great NetSuite content and guides at keystonedata.co.uk.